Hi, and welcome to Gabriel's Kitchen, where I score off against some of the most popular frozen dishes to see whether it's worth my time to prep and cook my own meal, or if I should stock up on store-bought microwavable dinners. For today's challenge, we have my all-time favorite pasta dish, fettuccine alfredo. One of the lightest in the shopping list, one of the quickest to prep, but also one of the easiest to get wrong. Now it's important to mention that there are many variations of this sauce, but I'm going to stick to the original recipe, which is butter and parmigiano de gian. And for the pasta, we have egg noodle fettuccine and of course, a pinch of salt for the water. Now as you can see, I have freshly made pasta that I bought from the market earlier today. Most grocery stores carry fresh pasta, but if they don't, dry pasta is good too, but not recommended. Alright, let's get the water ready for the pasta. Now that the water is boiling, we can add a pinch of salt and our pasta. Pasta cooking time is about four minutes. One of the keys to making the sauce correct is to have the butter nice and warm. So I'm going to add a touch of the pasta water to it. Now you may have come across different ways of how this sauce was made, like a la panna sauce, which is cream sauce. Alfredo sauce is just butter with parmigiano reggiano cheese and was made famous by Roman chef Alfredo Di Lelio. Now, if you're ever in Italy and not in one of Alfredo's restaurants, please don't order fettuccine Alfredo because they may look at you funny. However, ask for fettuccine al burro con formaggio or butter and cheese pasta. Once again, Alfredo sauce is just butter with parmigiano reggiano cheese. Mix it up. Add the parmigiano reggiano. Mix. Now that our pasta is ready, it's time to make our frozen dinner. Ah, fettuccine al frozenato. Let's start off with Mr. Frozen here. Really thick, hardly any flavor. I mean, it is what it is for a frozen dinner. Noodles, so dense. Let's try our homemade pasta. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Cheese is great. Everything's great. Sorry, big guy. All right, so in conclusion to our challenge, I'm gonna start off with the frozen dish. Obviously, it's not going to taste as good as the homemade dish. Uh, the noodles were bland, the sauce was really thick, dense, and upon inspecting the ingredients, you see things like soybean, milk, cornstarch, syrup. 
and a bunch of preservatives that are not good for you. But it is what it is. The homemade dish is just amazing how so few ingredients can make such an impact to the palate. So on that note, Chef Alfredo, salute. Give it a bit of a mix.